vocabulary. Peace, love, et welcome to the science of energy fusion. And today we will be discussing cares words. So recently I ran across a few posts on my Facebook where I was like, okay. So I wanted to express the importance of words. First and foremost, we use the word spare. So, you know, you're really spiritual, you understand that words are spells. And what are spells? Spells are magic cast upon a, a being that could block or enhance their state of awareness from certain things. When we're discussing and we use curse words, we are now condemning the spirit from ever growing from the state of existence that they are in. So I want to take, I want you to really take this into consideration. When someone, when someone is scrolling and they read a post and there is a lot of curse words, so we are casting a spell and cursing them at the same time. When we express the way that someone is being or what they are doing, it is important that we don't care and we don't, we don't care. Why? We should avoid care. Because if you actually truly care for this person to grow out of this state of awareness that you are experienced from them that is this, uh, of this disdain or dislike, you want to not encourage that state of existence and by not encouraging that state of existence is to speak wisdom to them not speak the same way that they have brought unto you that you know is not of wellness or the one's mind body and spirit see we experience negative things from people and we go and we and we express it negative how do we expect them to grow and change if we are now cursing them as they have cursed us? And for a lot of people, believe it or not, the reason that they're even in that state of awareness is because they already got cursed before. Someone cursed me already that's why they act the way they do so if you take their what they're doing to you and what they're saying to you and expressing it the same way in which they express to you whatever pain that they are experiencing means that you were never there to begin with to help them believe it or not accept it or not you were never there to help them. Why? Because you chose cursing them over wisdom. Then rather just not saying nothing at all. If you didn't have anything nice to say, you cursed them deeper into the state of awareness that they were relieving unto you that they, they have a problem deep down inside that they are like, they may be less facing, but you have to understand that. You have to take that in consideration. If you truly care for the uprising of your own people, you would take this into, commun in, into consideration when you are communicating with them. And you won't taint everybody else with it in a Facebook post. You won't do that. 
you will keep that conversation private. And if you decide to bring the face, bring it to the Facebook, you don't bring it in the same way that you receive that. You bring it in a way that is formulated in wisdom so that we can all grow from the state of perceptance of existence that you are experiencing. For those of those, for those of whom who aren't experiencing it right now, who have experienced it but never saw it that way, so you open grand possibilities when you express wisdom of an unsavory situation. in a well-formatted manner to the rest of the world and to the person and womb that you are having this problem with. You can only save the world if you stop cursing them. Stop casting spells on them. Let thine intentions be pure about oneself and others. You can't do that. Do not say nothing at all. If you're, if you're, purpose was to care on purpose, then eventually people who don't want to be cares will remove you. So take that into consideration. You want people to be around you. You want to be not toxic person, vampire person. You don't care as people when they're already stating acts of being cursed. Text spell. It's not kill them with kindness. It is purge them with kindness. You purge the entity or this being that has uh, attached to them that causes them to not be able to probably. Pro uh, uh, um, properly use their throat chakra, their crown chakra. Their heart chakra, their root chakra, their core chakra. Understanding takes an objective seat. Yes, one will receive what one is in the reflection of their environment. Learn from it, not fight it, because you're cursing everyone else when you began to speak about it in an unhealthy manner, meaning using curse words, rather it be typing or it be projection. And projection is just as bad as someone reading it and I might have to say vocal projection is the worst because our bodies are made of 70% water. And we found out that water does what? Water is the easiest cellular structured being to be programmed through vibration. That's all. Hotep Mary. Rise, our people. Wise, our people. Shemi Mary Hotel, go and love and peace. Nu Jer Maat, we speak harmonious balance. Shem Ir Maat, let's go do harmonious balance. Much love and happy ascension all the way up. And have a great day. Like, share, subscribe. And if you would like to support, we are growing out of homelessness. If you would like to support by growing the business and getting it off the ground so that we, we can continue to deliver wisdom to you in a safe and healthy environment, not just for you, but for us. And in love and in peace and patience. Have a good one.